all right guys you welcome back to my channel today guys up uh, today um we'll be looking into google ad mob how does google ad mob work and uh, that today i will be answering the question of one of our subscribers who asks about uh google adsense and google ad mob that um can google adsense be verified before google ad mob or can google ad mob be verified before google adsense so these are the things that we will be looking into and uh, before we get started, I want to say thank you to 17,000 YouTube family. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. In my last video, I dropped a comment. Uh, sorry, I dropped a section on the video that says uh, we will be doing a giveaway of 50 USD to 100 USD once we reach 50,000 subscribers. So you guys just try to support us, try to share our video, try to like, try to subscribe. And who knows, you can be the lucky one to get the 50 to 100 USD in your account. So guys let us get started for today's project. okay guys um firstly i will be going to inside the google ad mob i will be trying to create a google ad mob account you know i'll be using a fresh one to to create it to let you guys understand what google ad mob is all about and what google adsense is all about so i'm gonna go to admob.google.com that is the official website for google ad mob so if you're trying to create a google ad mob let me try to get it straight to you google ad mob google adsense they are all the same thing the difference is just that on google ad mob you can add the ads to your application maybe you have a gaming application any app maybe it is live on google play store on apple play on, on, on apple store or anywhere it doesn't matter where your app is once you have the app i will place the code that you receive from add mob into it of course you will be able to earn from the google ad mob itself so um let me try to sign up to show you guys how it is done and how the earnings you know something like that how it it, it works with google ad mob of course so um you know this i think this is one of my account the account is deactivated because i didn't use it you see i didn't use it so i'm gonna reactivate it um that that that, that is um the the uh thing that, that that's the thing it, it, it doesn't work for only only ad move like like um the way this ad move is being deactivated the adsense also is deactivated actually it's the same thing i can show you guys the email i was sent to from adsense into my personal adsense email that says that if i didn't use my adsense in the next 30 days it will be deactivated so it's almost the same thing that that is just it so um let us try to check it now once you've created your ads mob account once you have your gmail you have your ad mob and you sign up for the ad mob you've got yourself something like this and then you can click on the app to add some uh, applications for yourself inside the google ad mob and once you add it you can um you know try to create something that is very nice and uh, good for yourself and this is up to confirm that is if you are uh, for, maybe this is your first time of using AdMob and you want to test if the ads is really working you know if the ads is really getting you paid itself if, if you want to try it that you can self click on the on the on the ads yourself then you need to do to to, to test it you, you you will do the ads for test it's inside here in the google ad mob because google ad mob is very strict to invalid click any invalid click will lead to your google ad mob to be blocked i don't say i uh, deactivate it will be disabled completely any invalid click that you got over there so um like this uh let us get over to the payment to show you some stuff if you check over here in the payment tab um like i i haven't had any payment account but any payment account i had here any money i i got here will be shown in my adsense as well okay so um let us try to add some applications so uh -huh. add your first app you see over here you have the two tab maybe for android or for ios and then you have to choose if your app is listed on the uh apple store play store or not so it will be very good if your app is listed over there it will be very very good because if it is listed over there you know the 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 um should i say the benefits the 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 benefits will increase like you will have a uh, your, the, the risk will be 
will be low you know for your for, for your stuff you know for your application like that so i'm gonna click android and then click no over here because i don't have any app on the on the play store so the app name you can just choose any name for the application name you understand so let's just say i pro reach okay and then you click on add app so um once you click on the add app you see the app has been created successfully and then you you will be you you will move to the app overview to add unit so um once you try to add units over here this means you can add several type of adverts into the application like a banner ad interstitia ad reward interstitia reward and uh, you see we have um native advanced and app opening you see for these two rewards for these two rewards which are um as you guys can see over here which are reward interstitia and the rewarded app it is it work most of the time for gaming application for example now if you're playing a game for example like candy crush if you're playing like candy crush candy crush is the most uh advanced game when it comes to you know like swiping game candy crush is the best when you're playing candy crush and then you don't have enough life you might watch an advert to get yourself some gold you know to buy a life even you, if even you can watch an advert to get yourself an extra life so when when you watch it the type of advert that you're watching is called reward advert so that that is how it works and you see this interstitia and the banner the interstitia one is the one that covers the entire application screen it covers everything as you can see over here it covers everything to you know it covers everything so that um you will be able to see just a little bit of cancellation on the right corner or on the left corner of the application and you see this banner ad is a small amount of ads that is very small like this it's usually be in below the uh, app or above the app so that is how this type of advert it works i think i have explained how um the uh ads works itself so now the next thing i'm gonna do is that um i'm gonna try to create some ad codes to you guys in case of some people who doesn't know how to create an ad code this is your opportunity to learn how to create the ad code for yourself so i'm gonna try the banner ad and i want to let you know something is that um the same steps that I used to create this banner ad is the same step that you will be using whenever you're trying to create any other uh, ads for yourself. So um, let let me try to click on the ad units. This is the ad units. I can ne just name it. Uh, let, let let me name it banner one. This the main reason why you have to name it something like this is that so that because the, there will be a time you will have to copy the ad unit code you know into your application source code so that the advert will be able to to show on yourself if you want to know how to you know to create the app uh, the serve uh, the application code um you know the source code how to include the the banners add into the application uh, uh, application source code i can help you in that aspect i'm going to show you a video maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow about it so that you guys can uh, can know how to do it all by yourself so once you have uh get it like this then you can just um click on creating create the ad code so here, here you are now you have the ad code and you have the banner implementation guide as well this is the mobile as sdk guide you see you have the code over here and you have the harder code over here then these two codes are what that you need to get the ad showing on your um on your on, on, on your on, on, on your on your application so that you can earn a cool money from it so um someone asked me that um about adsense let me try to check into that adsense.google.com you see if you want to verify adsense you know maybe you want to start earning from your content from your blog maybe you have a, a website a blog website that you try to head something from heat and then um you create a google adsense for it you see if you have a google adsense google adsense is very good and it's very straightforward for you to make a very cool money on it is that uh, as a uh, someone who is trying to get verified through your website you will need another enough of traffic pushing in there and out into your in, in, into your website before adsense can approve it and i understand the main reason why um they did it like this because if um you know if if you are any less from your from your website and if you're if you are not earning something good for yourself you might be tempted to click 
to self click on the ads on your on your website and that may cause adsense to block your account so that's the reason why they want you to get you know enough data for yourself like okay for youtube now for you to be able to monetize on youtube you need a thousand subscribers and a four thousand watch hour so once you reach the four thousand watch hour and a thousand subscribers you do believe that you have what it takes to kickstart your monetization and to be able to earn from a lot of things that youtube has to offer like super chat super stickers um the ads the premium revenue even the membership itself youtube have everything for you so that you can earn a very cool money from youtube and then you can make a living for yourself and be able to interact with your uh, audience on the youtube so let me try to get started with this adsense so we can see how it works okay you see this is the ad uh adsense it's gonna load now let's see what we've got okay as you can see now we have the adsense automatic as you can see i did i didn't have to you know have to have to create anything maybe add some details because i already did all that in my google ad mob it's all the same thing it's all the same thing once you have your ad move account active of course your adsense is active everything is being controlled by adsense okay so um if, you, if i click on the payment over here you're gonna see what is uh it's gonna show me so so you see it says add the payment method over here as well in the uh, add mob tab you see it's all the same thing you can see we have it add payment account over here as well add payment account so it is all the same thing so um i guess i've answered the question that you guys is asking about add mobile adsense the uh, best option to verify our adsense will be through europe you know europe is straightforward because most of the time on if, if, if you have a website and you are trying to get the traffic to it you might not know how to get the traffic to it although if you are using a wordpress website platform a cms wordpress you might be able to track the uh the, the the traffic on your website with some plugins some google analytics plugin that will help you to you know to get what um you want to know about your website how your website is um is improving or you can add just seo plugin into your wordpress website to uh help you guide your way into reaching the first on the google stage as well but for youtube just a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hour then you're good to go then your or uh, your youtube will be monetized and you'll be able to make a very cool income from it so i think i have answered the question of the guy who want to know about how to uh uh, uh google adsense and google ad mob um like i said earlier guys thank you seventeen thousand euro family thank you for staying with me thank you for enjoying my video uh for you to um get a chance to win 50 to 100 usd on this channel uh, just make sure that you are subscribed to this channel share the video and then always drop a comment to let me know you are active through the comments i can know who is active as i ask your question let me know what uh, you need to know like all these guys are asking questions you know someone asked questions yesterday and there's another person today let me know uh the question that you have in mind let me know how to interact with you let me know how to help you too so guys thank you for watching this video till we meet happy marketing